A bird shits on your face, letting that shit roll on your face. It just goes into your mouth. You taste the shit. Mmm, tasty. Tasty bird shit. That's what being patient is. Oh, don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. So I like running, but because of the coronavirus, I kind of have to though. With the gyms closing every month or two. I have a problem though. It's really cold. Cold. Yes, it's cold. Will I get frostbite? Will I buy a pair of gloves? Will I stick to a schedule of posting once a week? Find out in this episode of Dragon Ball Z. Or the Quarantine Diaries, my bad. I'm running in the winter now. I'm a winter runner. I used to make fun of these people like three years ago. You know that meme with the lady? She says like the perfect texture. So what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact and it's dry snow so your feet don't get wet. It's dry snow so your feet don't, dry snow, so your feet don't get wet. Okay. All right, thanks. So we've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that can happen. You okay? Yes, okay. That's me. I'm the I'm the perfect texture dude now. <laughs> For my running music, I like to listen to a lot of EDM stuff. I listen to... I wish I remembered. I wish I wrote a list of the things I listened to. <laughs> it's a lot of Avicii stuff. I think I remember it was something called SOS. I like SOS by Avicii. There's another one. Without You is a really good one. I think I heard somewhere that whenever they make the EDM song, one of the layers of the music they have this pace, it's like oosh, oosh, oosh. It matches your heartbeat, so it like helps me with running. It's like pushing me to keep going, you know? I don't really listen to too much rap. I just listen to a lot of techno stuff, keeps me hyped up, keeps me pushing through the, uh, the suffering that is running and cardio. Before when I started running, I could only run for like a minute or two maximum straight. Like 30 minutes, I can run for 30 minutes straight and it's not a big deal. I think the best pace I had was 6 minutes and 11 seconds for I think uh, 5 kilometers or something like that. The longest run I did was like 7.31 kilometers, which is from where I live to downtown Ottawa, which is pretty good for me. I was thinking of maybe doing a marathon, but I don't know. Warning, this is an incoming rant. Incoming rant to your face, coming to your face. I'm gonna rant for a second about my living situation. Warning, warning. <laughs> As you can see, my studio is kind of different. You can't really see the lights, but everything is kind of different. I removed places because I had some drama or something. I had to move because a roommate didn't like where he was living. I want to live on my own, man. Like, I just don't have the financial <laughs> situation. To move right now maybe in a couple months i move back with my old roommate my dad used to tell me something about being patient this is a hot take being patient fucking sucks okay being you know what being patient is being patient is basically you're just enduring shitty situations for as long as you possibly can because if you don't endure it something worse can happen you know what i'm saying and like i i hate being in a hard spot i hate adversity I hate going through stuff. I just hate being uncomfortable. Whenever I'm in an uncomfortable situation, I try to get myself out of there as quickly as possible. It's a good skill to have, but it's something that I don't have. Everything has gone to shit this year, and I just have to continuously be patient. Hopefully next year will be better. But anyway, enough of being negative. I've been watching some Netflix. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. One of the Netflix shows I like watching right now is I just finished Final Space. If you haven't seen Final Space, you should check out Final Space. I've been watching BoJack Horseman reruns. That's a good show. If you haven't seen that show, you should check that show out. I've been looking at How I Met Your Mother. I watched Coraline this month. Um, there's one movie with Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. I know Adam Sandler is notorious for making bad movies, but this is a pretty good movie. It's a Halloween movie. I like Halloween movies. Let's talk about the coronavirus. It feels like the virus is going to be around for a little bit can you imagine it's already been seven months i lost my job on march 18th and now it is about by the time i post this video it's gonna be november 7th or something like that it's almost been eight months april may june july it's been eight months bro it's been eight months since i've lost my job i don't even know where the time went man i have no idea where the time went and i feel like i need to end this video on a positive note and i will do that i found this channel the channel it shows like what's wrong with certain cities like I watched this video, it was like, why is everybody leaving California? Surprise, surprise, I don't think I want to go to California anymore. If you want to know why I don't want to go to California, you should check out that video. But in one of the videos that he made, 
He was talking about Portland. If you don't know, Portland is like chaos right now. Tonight marks the 100th straight day of street protests in Portland, Oregon. Some demonstrators throwing fireworks and Molotov cocktails at police. Terrifying scenes like these now a nightly occurrence. And at the end of the video, amongst all the chaos and all the sadness and all the destruction, there was this quote that he put at the end of it. This lady had this speech and it moved me. She said something like, Everyone in the world has gone to bed one night or another with fear or pain or loss. Dragon, SpaceX. Or disappointment. And yet each of us has awakened a risen. It's amazing, wherever that abides in a human being, there is the nobleness of the human spirit. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you want to know, I did indeed um, get the gloves, but I don't think I'm going to need them for now because it's pretty sunny for the next couple of weeks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave the bell notification on. And uh, yeah, I have these two videos. Check them out. Uh, until next time, see ya. Peace.